everybody and welcome to book chat i'm your host author vivian e moore and so glad that you could join me today um i am so just excited uh to be back with you once again and i hope everybody is having a great weekend um it's a little gray here today um in chattanooga but you know um that's all right that's all right because we had some uh sunshiny days and um some nice sunshiny weekends uh but, um, you know, you just have to accept the, the rain with the sun, I guess. But, you know, God is in control of everything. So, you know, we just have to leave everything in his capable hands and just, you know, just be thankful um, for when he does send the rain. Because I'm pretty sure it's needed somewhere. But that's okay. Um, as long as the, the sun is shining in your heart. And, you know, some people think of rain as liquid sunshine. So there you go. Uh, just keeping it on a positive tip. But anyway, I hope that you are having a great week. In. I hope that you um, had a chance to get out and do some things today um, and um, you know because I know mostly everybody is busy on the weekends me included and uh, and and that's one of the reasons why I don't like to keep you longer than necessary um, when I do this show um, 15 minutes or less because I figured that is enough time for me to tell you everything that I need to tell you and for you to get on with the rest of your life so in that same vein let's move on to uh, finding ways for you to reach out to me. And uh, one of the ways is right here on Spreaker. And I will give you that uh, URL, which is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian anymore. Uh, you can also Facebook me uh, and that is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com forward slash author Vivian anymore. Um, you can also uh, reach out to me on Twitter. My Twitter handle handle is God's property 46. I'm also on Instagram and I forgot to upload today's uh, show on Instagram, which I, I hope everybody will forgive me because I, I truly did forget to do that. But anyway, uh, you can reach out to me on HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Instagram.com forward slash God's property 51. Um, you can also uh, reach out to me on my, on my website. Uh, you can leave messages. Uh, you can like me. Um, and you can look, also look at some of the neat things that I have out there. Uh, and that one is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Vivian Moore dot site dot com forward slash author Vivian Moore. And also you can check out today's blog on my blog site, which is Vivian E And there are two more ways for you to listen to the show. Uh, the record uh, podcast and that is on iTunes and also on um, iHeartRadio and um, all of those address those URLs are listed on um, on Instagram uh, maybe not today since I didn't get a chance to put it out there but I will do it later but um, but um, on all the other posts that I've made um, and also on Facebook you can also look at some of the uh, the older posts and and see all of these uh, URLs that are listed out there uh, for your convenience all right so if everybody's mind is clear let's move on to today's show the title of today's show is go get it and the topic is in pursuit of your dreams now I don't know about you, but I love Mary Mary and I especially love the song Go Get It um, because it speaks right to me. And, you know, we understand that um, that, you know, they're singing about go get your blessings. But we know that all blessings come straight from God and that he turns the impossible into possibilities. So there is no reason why you can't pursue your dreams. Whoever coined the phrase win big or go home was definitely on to something. Your dreams should be the essence of motivation. Whatever it is in your life that you are in pursuit of, you need a starting point and then go after it. I know that there will be obstacles along the way, but this should inspire you even more to keep moving. And it's okay to dream big. Even when you hear whispers of, I wouldn't do that if I were you, or there are enough writers in the world already, don't listen to it. Not everyone will want to cheer you on or be in your corner when you need inspiration the most. And you should expect this. But don't let it keep you from making your dreams a reality. Today, I want to focus on authors. Mainly because I am one and I've been on this journey for a while now. 
my dreams were to write a book and publish it. And this was during a time when getting your work published and noticed was close to impossible. And, you know, I have to be honest and say that it wasn't always easy, but I learned a lot of, I learned a lot of things along the way, but, um, what I didn't do, and I know that so many other writers are tempted to do is to give up doggedly. I stayed in the fray, even when I did think about giving up, believe me, it was only a thought because I understood that writing stories was what I had been blessed to do. Not everyone has the gift of storytelling, and it may not seem that way when the market is saturated with so many other talented writers, but that's the best part because the world desires variety and not every author is suited for every reader. That's why there, that's why there is so many different uh, uh, genres of uh, writers, of authors. I mean, you got it from A to Z. And so that's a good thing because there is something for everyone out there to read and something for everyone out there to write about. Now, this is why all, this is uh, why all my newbie writers should prepare themselves um, to be part of the startup, the starting lineup of dream pursuers. Writing books or, sc- or screenplays is in high demand right now. And you know that for yourself because of all the all of the um, the movies. I went a couple of weeks ago um, to the movies uh, with my daughter and my two grandchildren. We went to go. We went to go see Black Panther, and let me tell you, that movie was awesome. It was so good. But um, and and the theater was just it was packed out. It was packed out, and I think they showed it in two different uh, theaters there, and and both of them were just packed out, you know, but that, that, that is a great indication of what is out there, uh, for, uh, for today's writers and for today's, um, uh, screenwriters. Um, there is such a high demand for, uh, for, um, innovative thinking for people using their imaginations to the utmost. And, um, you know, it's, it's just to me, you know, like you have houses, like right now might be a seller's market, you know, if you're trying to sell a house or whatever, but writing is like, it's like an author's market. If I may use that um, as an example, because there is no reason if you have the desire, the passion to be a writer, to not do it, you know, just, just do it. And I guarantee you, you will get noticed. Um, what I understand is that writing stories is what I've been blessed to do. And, um, and I know not everybody has that gift because it is a gift, but, um, writing books or in, in screenplays, like I said, or just in such high demand right now. And, um, it, and it seems like every week, when I view the market of bestsellers or undiscovered talent um, that are just blazing up the charts and, and they, most of them are already on their way to the top. I mean, the, the staggering numbers, it, it amazes me. Trust me, this is a good thing. It's better than good. It's a great thing. Primarily because the world is overflowing with people pursuing their dreams. Now, notice that I didn't say chasing. Now, I could have used any other synonym to instead of pursuit, but I definitely did not want to use the word chasing because that word seems to invalidate the whole reason as to why you're trying to go get it. You know, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to use a more positive word because pursuing means that you're, that you're, that you're following something. And, and, and in this case, you're following your dreams. So, um, and not chasing after cause chasing to me just seems like, um, you're just doing something that's not worthwhile. Um, it's just as it's, it's though you could be doing uh, something else. And so that is not the, the tone that I wanted to, that I wanted to set, uh, for today's show. But, um, but if you are not taking advantage of all the opportunities presented to you right now, then writing is obviously not your thing, or you lack the spirit of what it takes to be an author. I think the hardest part about writing is actually just sitting down and doing it. 
And, and, it, and, and again, I say, if this is your gift and you want to become, and you want it to become your livelihood, then go get it. You are viable and marketable because you no longer have to be part of the mainstream process of submitting your work to publishers and waiting to see if it's a go or bust. Some writers become disheartened uh, when they learn that they aren't the only authors promoting their talent. And, you know, once upon a time before self-publishing came to pass, uh, there was a reason to worry, um, especially if you were trying to um, to go the traditional route um, because, you know, they only chose from a select few because they only, I mean, when you think about the publishing world, I mean, today it may be more um, people that they select to actually publish a book, but most publishing companies are not that big unless you're talking about Random House and, and some of the other ones, uh, the more the, some of the more popular ones. But some of the um, some of the more smaller publishing houses, um, they can only afford to publish maybe five or six authors, probably 10 at the most a year. And, um, and I mean, that's a lot when you think about the process of actually, um, publishing a book from beginning to the end there, it, it's a lengthy process and it's an expensive process. Um, when you, when you do it through, uh, the publisher's eyes, but you can self publish. So, um, that just makes things, it, it, it just simplifies things. It really does. And, you know, and with so many avenues of discovery available to you now, um, you know, there's just no reason why you can't excel and live your dreams out loud. Still, you must be aware of how competitive this business is. And you really have to know your stuff to compete in the vastly growing market of new authors. But don't let this discourage or scare any newcomers um, just starting fresh out of the gate away um, because that's not what I want to do. I want to encourage you um, if you have any, if you have a dream of becoming a writer, you know, the first thing that you need to do is sit down and write. And, you know, and I can just tell you from my own perspective, that um, there will be days <laughs> when it would just flow out of you. I mean, it would just flow like lava out of a volcano. And then there will be days when you get nothing. You just dry up like an old well. And you can't, you can't even get a paragraph out. You can't even, can't even squeeze out a whole, just a whole sentence. You know, you'll have days like that. But, you know, for the, for the most part, you have less of those days than you do the productive one. So that's a good thing. But, um, but like I said, you have to sit down and you have to write, you have to clear your mind of everything else, except what you're focusing on, what you're trying to do. And that is right. So, um, you know, because there is room for everyone. And if you work hard, and establish yourself as a marketable brand in the marketplace, I promise you will also be included in the bestsellers number. So come on, let's get out there and go get it. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. That's today's show uh, in a nutshell, 15 minutes or less. And uh, I just want to tell you tomorrow's worship day, you know it, you know it's coming because I always say this, tomorrow's worship day. So uh, take a loved one, take a family member, take a friend, take a child uh, to church with you tomorrow to hear the word. And also tell somebody that you love them because tomorrow is, is not promised. And today may be the only day that you get to tell them that. So I love you. I hope you love me back until the next time you hear my voice. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you.